Hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss the module two of our rhythmic activities, which is the hip hop. Okay. So what is hip hop? When I ask you what is hip hop, usually ang sagot natin is hip hop. Ah, uh, ito yung one sir. Ito yung uh, maangas gumalaw. Ito yung tumbling tumbling. Ito yung uh, break dancing. No? So, ito yung sayaw. So, in other words, when you say hip-hop, usually ang nasa isip natin is a dance. No? So, hip-hop, hindi lang siya dance, but it is a culture. It is an art movement. Uh, let us discuss first the history of hip-hop. Saan ba ito nagsimula? No? Uh, how did it started? So, hip-hop culture was started in South Bronx, New York, sa USA. So, ang South Bronx, New York, it's a very dangerous place. Kumbaga, maraming drugs, crime, violent, lahat na andun, no? Mga criminals, mga gangs. So, doon yun, mga, doon yun sa South Bronx, New York. Mostly, ang mga tao doon is African-American. O, yung sinasabi natin, yung tinatawag natin na Black Americans. So, alam naman natin na Black Americans was discriminated, no? Dumaan sila sa discrimination or neglected as a mainstream institution. Ito yung mga Black Americans. Despite for a way to escape to everyday struggles, they invented their own art forms. These art forms is the youth embodied the way they dress, the way they move, the way they talk, and express themselves. And soon, become a lifestyle, no? a way to live. So, yun yun na kasanayan na nila. So, dun na nagsimula yung culture na tinatawag natin sa hip-hop. Then, when you say hip-hop, it's composed of elements. There are four elements of hip hop. No, yung bumubo hindi lang sa dance. No? So what are those elements? Number one, DJing. So DJing it is a manipulations of sounds that were used to create music. So we're used to create a music. Usually, yung ginagawa nila scratching, pag mix ng music, no. So yun yung DJing. So I know I know you're very familiar with that DJing. Makikita natin 'yan sa TV, makikita natin yan sa concert, sa clubs. So 'yun yung DJing. Number two, MCing or rapping. So yung pagra-rap. A uh, musical form of vocal delivery that incorporates rhyme, rhythmic speech and street vernacular. So yung pagra-rap, you know, parang chanting, nagsasalita. No ba yan sinasabi nila? Minsan hindi natin maintindihan. I know you are very familiar with the rap. Uh, sino bang alam? Sino bang kilala niyo na rapper? Sa Pilipinas, ang alam ko lang, sila Android, Glock 9. Sa international lang naman, we have Eminem. Uh, hindi ko na familiar yung iba, no? So, number three, we have the graffiti art. Graffiti art is a very controversial art, no? It's a, it's a graffiti. It is a controversial elements of hip hop because many people says it is an art, and other people says it is a trash or a vandalism. So usually, itong graffiti kasi gumagawa ito is yung mga yun nga yung mga youth sa South Bronx, New York, yung mga gangs. So pumipinta sila or nagapaint sila sa mga walls sa mga streets. No? So, for me, it's an art. It's also vandalism. So, vandalism kasi ginawa nila sa public places without permissions. Number four, a dance. Okay, ito na yung sinasabi nyo. No? The hip-hop dance or a dance. So, hip-hop dance, meron din tayong elements. No? Hip-hop dance has also four elements. 
what are those elements? We have popping. We have locking. Are you familiar with popping? Are you familiar with locking? Crumping? And breaking or yung break dancing. Now let's talk one by one. Popping consists of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles causing a jerk in your body. These jerks are also known as pops or hits. So pop, no? Pop quickly. Quickly contracting and relaxing muscles. In our VLE, no, I uploaded a video tutorial and how to do a popping, how to do a pop or popping, no? May, may na-upload ako doon na instructional videos kung paano. Okay. Now, let's tingnan natin. Ito yung, ito yung in-upload ko na sample ng popping doon sa VLA natin. Okay, try to observe the movement. Contracting and relaxing muscles. So that you don't um, use shoulders or elbows. It's really the energy is here, and you hit the wall. Imagine a wall. Huh? Boom, 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 boom. When you have this, okay. So this video available on Safiili natin in upload ko ito for your guide. You no, know, to do how to pop, to do how to popping. So meron na tayong exercise doon. The exercise number one, just simply follow or practice, practice the basic steps or moves of popping. So, yun nga, nilagay ko doon yung videos. Just, just simply follow the videos, then practice nyo sa bahay nyo how to do the popping and lalaking in preparation sa inyong module 2 activity. Okay? So, we'll proceed sa number two. Okay, we'll proceed to number two. So, number two is locking. So, ano naman itong locking? So, performing a quick movement, locking into another position, then holding the last position for a few seconds. Okay? Again, dun sa VLA natin, in-upload ko ng sample ng locking. How to do the locking? Or do you know locking movements? Tutorial doon. You know, just just follow the the basic steps of blocking. Okay, tingnan natin, uh, tingnan natin yung video. I'm Ricky Caranza, and I'll be the one teaching. In this lesson, we'll be studying some... Okay, ito yung video na in-upload ko doon sa healing natin. So, try to observe. Ha! Okay. Welcome to Style Dance. So, how to do dance. the pop, the locking, no? So, marami yung video ang nilagay ko doon. I think we have lesson, five we'll or six videos. So, so try to follow, no? May right. instructional Let's videos dito. Then, in... But before it... Let me... And watch this, pull it out. And drop those wrists down. Okay, so remember this one. And practice it until you that you have to learn is how to lock. That's why it's called lock. The technique would be in the elbows and watch this position. If you haven't. Okay, so so much for that. The video na yan makita niyo don sa VLE. So try to visit our VLE. Andun yung lahat ng videos na nilagay ko. Tutorial how to do the locking. So, in our exercise, may nilagay din ako doon sa exercise number 2. Just simply follow the steps. O, tingnan natin yung sa BLE. Okay, in, our, in the exercise number 2 of our popping or a locking, I should say, Locking, practice the basic steps of locking and follow the tutorial videos below, no, yung dun sa discussion natin. 
So, no need to submit. Just simply practice the basic steps of blocking. Practicing nyo. No, try to invite your friends, invite your family na mag-perform ng blocking. Practice nyo sa bahay ninyo. Okay? Let's proceed to the third one. Let's proceed to the number three, which is the cramping. So, ako familiar ako sa cramping kasi mostly, mostly ang nakikita ko sa masayaw dito sa atin is more on cramping. So, if you are familiar with the exquisite, exvigensan, Philippine All-Stars, so mostly ang sinasayaw, yung general sinasayaw, or yung style nila, ang sayaw nila is cramping. Ano tong cramping? Cramping was characterized by free, expressive, and highly energetic moves involving the arms and chest. Mostly, ang makikita natin sa nagakramp, no, yung, yung mga maangas, grabe ang facial, facial expression, very expressive, very energetic. No? Yun yung cramping na style ng sayaw, no? yung elements ng hip-hop dance. Again, dun sa VLA natin, in-upload ko yung tutorial step by step how to do the cramping, mostly sa so mga chest pop, no? pag stamp ng paa, how to do the proper stamping of your legs or your feet, and yung paano mag-pop sa inyong chest, or in other words, the basic steps or moves of cramping. Then, the exercise number three, again, Practice. Practice nyo the basic steps sa bahay ninyo. No need to pass. Practice nyo. Invite kayo ng friends ninyo. Invite yung family ninyo. Relatives ninyo. Yung kapatid ninyo. Para mas masaya, no? Practice nyo how to do the cramping. Para in preparation sa inyo. Module 2, sa activity, madali na lang sa inyo. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa number 4, which is the breaking or the break dancing. Another term nito is b-boying or b-girling. So, kung sa atin dito, yung mga tumbling-tumbling, yung mga, mga exhibition, head spin, tumbling, yung top rack, up rack, yung mga paa na mabilis, maganon, no? Again, doon sa VLA natin, in-upload ko rin yung Tutorial how to do break dancing. Basic lang yun, no? But be sure while doing this activity, again, lalo na dito sa breaking or break dancing, always remember yung, yung safety, no? So mahirap among the elements of people dance itong break dancing, itong breaking medyo risky ito kasi it involves na yung mga acrobatic moves. So try to kanan, consider natin yung safety ninyo. Stretching muna kayo. Then, of course, pag hindi kaya yung activity natin na nilagay ko doon, do not follow that videos. No? Uh, perform nyo lang yung kaya nyo gawin, lalo na dito sa breaking or break dancing. So, medyo mahirap ito gawin. No? So, those are the four elements of hip hop dance. Again, number one is the popping consists of quickly contracting and relaxing your muscles causing a jerk in your body. Yung jerk is known as pops or hits. Number two naman, ito yung locking. Performing a quick movement, locking into another position, then holding the last position a few seconds. The third one is the cramping, characterized by free, expressive, and highly energetic moves involving the arms and the chest. The last one is the breaking or yung bibuying or bigerling. Or yung the exhibitions, yung acrobatic moves, yung mga spin-spin, top rack, up rack. Okay? So, those are the four elements of hip hop dance and the tutorials and the videos how to do these moves. Ina-upload ko doon sa VLA natin. Try to visit your VLA. Nakalagay din doon yung... The exercises, no? Every every elements we have exercise. The exercises na yon nakalagay doon. Just practice, practice the basic moves or the, the fundamental steps of the elements. No need to pass. 
Oh, no need no need to pass your output just simply practice in your home in preparation for module 2 okay what is our module 2 activity or activity number 2 okay in our rhythmic activity number 2 you're going to create a 2 to 3 minutes hip hop dance presentation using the any elements of hip hop okay so gagawa kayo ng video ngayon Using the four elements, no? Mamili kayo. If you do, kung gusto niyo yung locking, you can do locking. Gusto niyo yung popping, you can do popping. Mas, mas, mas prefer niyo yung cramping. You can do cramping or yung break dancing. Be sure na two to three minutes siya. What if, sir, is gusto ko combination? Popping and locking. Yes, you can do pop and lock. Pwede rin, i-combine niyo yung at first, gusto mo popping. Sa gitna, gusto mo mag-cramping. Sa last, gusto mo mag-locking o gusto mo mag-popping. You can do that, no? As long as 2 to 3 minutes hip-hop dance presentation. Pwede nyo i-combine yung elements ng hip-hop dance. Pwede rin isa lang. No? 2 to 3 minutes. Dapat yung time. You may use any type of music or any song of your choice depending the elements you choose. TikTok videos are allowed as long as dance presented in hip-hop genre. So, alam ko, magaling kayo sa TikTok. Mahilig kayo sa TikTok. Mamili kayo ng mga TikTok moves na sa tingin nyo na bilong siya doon sa locking or sa popping or sa cramping or breakdancing. You can use that no, para mas madali na lang sa inyo. May, alam ko, memorize nyo ng dance steps ng TikTok. Sinini kayo mahirapan na mag-create pa ng mga dance, dance moves. No? You can use that para sa inyo. So para sa ating activity number two. Take a video of yourself performing. You created a dance presentation first. And you're encouraged to edit your videos. Pag hindi marunong mag-edit ng videos, okay lang yan. As long as klaro yung presentation ninyo, klaro yung sayaw ninyo. Submit your video or your subject teacher's choice of instruction. So, kahit contact nyo lang yung teachers niyo kung saan nyo isasubmit yung output niyo Okay? So, that's all for our module 2 for our rhythmic activities, which is the hip-hop. If you have any questions regarding the rhythmic activity number 2, you can just, just ask your subject teacher in your group chat. Okay, so that's all for our module 2, for our rhythmic activities, which is the hip-hop. Okay, thank you very much.